is gonna walk in half an hour on these heels. Well, not me. Guess where I am? Hey, party. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. In this vlog, I'm so excited. I am going to Paris today again. So lately, I've been going to Paris quite a lot to work. Not a lot, I would say every two weeks. So now it's Sunday. I worked at the club on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and my train already departed. But luckily I know myself by now because, wait, what did I do? I bought a flexible ticket. And the lady told me at the desk that x28 she made a whole mathematical formula for me it means that this train leaves every hour at 28 which means i can take this train every hour which saved my life because my train departed at 1328 and now it's already 17 o'clock yeah it's 178 and sorry my life i thought i would make the train of 1728 which is very unlikely seeing the current situation so probably i am gonna have to postpone my trip even with one more hour but i mean it's fine you know i am gonna pack my last stuff my dresses i picked up from the dry cleaners i'm gonna take my Laptop with me because I'm gonna edit my earpods. I packed most of my stuff already, and I have to take out the thread. Oh, because I'm gonna go for four days, so three nights work. So excited, guys! Oh, and I also shouldn't forget my. Little web book. This. Also recently I started taking, sorry, <laughs> piano lessons, like jazz lessons with my teacher. He's so cool. And he gave me this book. So cool. I love jazz. <laughs> it's like drinking coffee, you know. You start with Coffee with a lot of milk. And the more you drink coffee, gradually this color turns darker. And you end up drinking black coffee with no milk, nothing in it. You just sip it the whole day. It's the same with music. You start with the light stuff with Mozart or something and you end up with the darkest jazz standards that exist in the world and you enjoy it. I really should stop talking. Let's pack the rest of my bag and let's go to Paris. I just threw away my trash, very glamorous. Now I'm light again and it's time to go eat. I'm sweating so much. I mean, I'm happy it's summer. I'm so grateful for this weather, but to be honest with you, I can't wait for it to be over. I cannot wait for fall to start because it's actually my favorite season. Temperature is just right. And there's the pumpkin spice latte, of course. I'm so excited. Added to that, this will be the first fall of my entire life where I will not be returning back to school. And I cannot believe that I'm saying this, but the sense of freedom that I feel is almost overwhelming me. And I'm so excited. I love it. Trigger warning, if you are afraid of heights, don't look. Woo, kidding. <laughs> so this is where I'm staying right now for the <clears throat> week. Look how beautiful. But yeah, this is the inside. A little bit less pretty. 
I love his book taste though. I see Nietzsche in German. I think he must study like uh, philosophy or something. Now I actually have to go to my friend's show. He is going to play at a piano bar. Okay, do I have everything? The key. I have the key. I brush my teeth. I think that's the most important. Lights for the environment. Can you see this? It's so funny how this works. Typical Paris. Ooh, my phone is in front of it. Look, so funny. This is also typical Paris. It's on the sixth floor without elevator, sans ascenseur. So, if you live in Paris, you don't have to have a gym membership. You just have to live in an apartment because then you walk the stairs like a hundred times a day and I am living now on the sixth floor, but living it's only temporarily. I just needed to cure my soul. And I read in a book once that the best way to cure your soul is through the senses. So just see, feel, taste, hear. And that's exactly what I'm about to do here in Paris. So wild. It ended with everyone banging on the piano like. 